Child already knew there was going to be some action involved in this. Because what you won't do is give me $350,000 worth of BC pie. Okay? <laughs> have not already done so please like and share this video because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube now let's talk about transition hey I want everybody to tune into uh transitions on Amazon Prime man you know what I mean it's, it's it's right from the city we've been working hard on this project man and I want everybody to know it's not a game. You can see yourself on that screen. It's focus. You know what I'm saying? Just focus. We're putting hard work in. You hear your man right here, yours truly, Adonis Blackwell. Transitions. Non-stop. Shout out to everybody in the city that's been tuning in. Amazon Prime. Tell a friend. Tell a neighbor. Tell a co-worker, let's get it, baby. Amazon Prime, transitions, what's next? Let's get it. So if you guys know me from back home, then you know I am a 640 original, right? Um, meaning that I'm just an OG. You know, I ain't had to get jumped in, beat in, suck no pickle to do anything. It was just the hood that I claimed, right? I do follow some of the OGs from back in the day also. And one of them who is a communi community advocate posted a show called Transitions that's on Amazon Prime and it's actually trending in the DMV. And I said, ooh, let's see what's going on. But it's a show. It's on Amazon Prime. I've only watched the first episode, but I am interested in watching the second episode. And what Genghis, y'all know him as um, Ralph Anwan Glover. I think that's his real name, but um, because Genghis and I are both from uptown, we, I mean, I know him as Genghis. I haven't known him from anything else but Genghis, you know, because I remember him when he was old. He was never little. He was always big. But anyway, that's not what I'm. That's not what I'm saying. Um, right? He is also a community advocate. You know, if you don't know, DC is in a fight for their life, child. Don't mute DC because Genghis is also the lead talk for the band Backyard. Ooh, my sister is a Backyard girl. I'm a Rare Essence girl, but you know, I digress. Mm -hmm. They doing so many things within the community to continue fight for um, GoGo to be synonymous with DC, right? Hashtag don't mute DC. Um, he has done a couple of other things. He's been in The Wire, 12 Year Slave. He's on like one of my favorite shows right now, The Deuce on HBO Chow. I mean, it'd be so funny when I see him on TV. You know how you see people and you be like, damn, you know? I remember him when he was like, a teen teenager you know but anyway you know he has made great strides and he is to be applauded for his um efforts in trying to uh maintain the community right now enough with that bull stuff let's move on to it right Genghis's character is a heroin dealer of course he has lieutenants he reaches out to the nigerians the nigerians give him some bad shit see that's the reason why i couldn't be no oh you know, drug dealer because, you know, things wouldn't go right. I'd be like, ah, you need to take this shit back. But I don't quite understand the game because I wasn't engulfed into the game like that. I don't know the rules when the person sell you some bad shit. I don't know. Okay. Genghis Connect was with the bullsnit and sold him some BC powder and set him some old juggy and now Genghis is pissed, right? Uh, if you want to know what happened to Snake, or whatever his name is from the five heartbeat nights like this i wish that raindrops would fall that nigga is in the show 
He's in the show, in the episode. That's what he is. He is Genghis's pappy, and he has an issue with drug addiction and heroin, too. Oh, my God, that should be happening all the time. All the time. And it'd be so funny because one thing that resonated in me that Genghis said was that the drug that took my father out is now the drug that I'm selling. Child, that's how it be. I always say you either run to it or you run from it. You also had Gerard Street Garvey in there. Good job. You know, I love the way you all take care of each other. I love that. You know, I don't have a large platform, but whatever I can do to, you know, put you guys out there, Shasta Larissa, it's all love, brother. Brothers, it's all love. Okay? That's the PO in me, child. I've been supporting niggas forever. Okay? I was never the PO to be like, fuck you, nigga, I'm writing you to jail. I was always a PO to my supervisor and be like, I'm not writing no warrant because he didn't call me. Nigga, please, you want it, you do it. Child, they hated my ass. Right. Genghis out of 350000 Oh, that nigga put on the rich. His acting was superb. <laughs> oh, that's a mad nigga there, okay? He done gave the Nigerians three hundred and fifty k, and they gave him BC powder? What? <laughs> Child already knew there was going to be some action involved in this. Because what you won't do is give me $350,000 worth of BC powder. Okay. Now, you know, if you're from the streets, then you know that's a problem. That's a concern. The, 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 the people, the peepers ain't stopping to talk to you. They walking past you to get to the motherfuckers with the stuff that ain't the BC powder. That's what they going to. They not stopping and talking. They don't want to hear good boy there. They don't want, you know, no croissants, no orange juice. We're we'll going to the shooter. That's old Rockman, okay? Rockman, the shooter, will never be the worker, ever. You know, he don't have to work because one hit can get him a couple of thousand dollars. And I know back in the day, you know, it might have been like two, three, four, five, something like that. Them niggas talking about, you know, what did he say? I don't know. It was a whole bunch of money that I ain't got. So if I'm going to, you know, make somebody kick the bucket, I'm going to have to kick the bucket myself. Um, and the rock, and rock mind to explain him, he, I, it, he rationalizes what he does. You know, he rationalizes how things have to happen. Like, you know, the cycle of life, basically, right? So then enters the white woman. Danger. Whenever it is a white woman in play, when you got a whole bunch of ninjas, haven't y'all ninjas learned? It's always the white woman to take you ninjas down. You never incorporate white women into your shits. But anyway, Chad, the good part about this is that the white woman connects with Rockman. Rockman, I need you. You got to help me, Rockman. I'm going through some kind of problems. The white woman is a doctor, okay? Now, she didn't have something done to her, but now she didn't got, didn't heard about Rockman, so now she's trying to hire Rockman to get the job done. Now, dig this. Made me think. I said, ain't it strange how back home in the D.C., DMV, you know, it's very strange to me how, um... White people are just very comfortable with walking around in these hoods. I said, damn, do I think this shit will really happen for real, for real, in real life? Yes, I do. Right. The doctor had got taken advantage of, and she hired Rockman to take care of it. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Now, Michael Blackson was brought in for comic relief. It was bad. I don't even know why. I don't, I don't remember this. While all this action is still going on, Genghis's character is still in his feelings because he didn't got gooped by the uh, Nigerian selling their asses the BC powder. Okay, so he goes and talk to one of his OGs, which will be actually Kurt Bone, which is very, I mean, it's true. Kurt Bone is an OG. You know, if you're from the DMV, you know exactly who he is. He, yeah, he's an old heavy hitter from. DC, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Now, what Ger Ginga says is, here, Kurt or Bone, whatever his character's name was. Listen, I need you to hold on to this money just in case some bull snuck going down, and this is all the money that I have. This is what I need you to do. Kurt was like, I got you, buddy. I got you. You know, I ain't gonna spend a dime of it, child. 
Child bang. Them motherfuckers always spend something. But, like I said, we on the first episode, so I don't know what's going to happen, right? So then we go back to Rockmon. Child, Rockmon and Genghis sitting down. Genghis like, I need you to take care of some things for me. He said, oh, yeah, I got you. You know, this is light work for me. But, I mean, it's going to cost you. Because I'm going to have to go over to Nigeria to get his ass. Because you know the only time he come back is to come here and sell your ass BC powder. So... You're going to have to get all these things together. You're going to have to get me a visa, a passport, some connects. I'm going to need a whole bunch of things. But the dude didn't even need a connect because his celly was an old Nigerian dude that he did some federal time with, right? Luck have it that the Nigerian dude's boss has a big beef with BC Powder Baba. That's the Nigerian dude that sold Genghis the BC Powder, okay? Genghis. He has an old meeting with his lieutenants. I don't know what you call them now, but I know back in the day you used to call like your left and your right, the people who put a lot of work in, the main people around you, your lieutenants. I don't know what they call them now. That's not my job to know what the hell they call them now. That's not my life anymore. And he's like, listen, we got to get some new connects. We can't fuck with these Africans no more because the Nigerian dudes set us up, okay? They say, listen, we got connects in Detroit, Baltimore, all these different cities, right? Which is cool because this is where I feel like the show is going to start spreading out to different cities that have connections with different hoods, right? Cool. And I would hope that when they, you know, incorporate in Detroit or Baltimore, that they deal with those heavy hitters, okay? And have those heavy hitters on the plate, too. Because anyway, Ginga said, I got the game changer. I said, ooh, what the hell is the game changer, baby? He lifted up this thing and said, this is going to change our lives. I said, what the fuck is that, Genghis? What the fuck is that? This right here is more powerful than dope, morphine, uh, what else? I don't know, bit of drill, I don't know. He said, this is phenomenal, feminine to to tall of me, okay? I said, what the hell is that? My wife said, oh, that's the strongest shit you could ever get. You know, my wife is a nurse, right? But she was like, oh my God, that shit is serious. I said, and he wanna play with that? I wouldn't even want that stuff to touch my body. You heard me. I wouldn't even want that stuff to accidentally fall on my hair. Ah, get it off, bleach it, get this shit off. I don't wanna feel that good. You hear me? I don't want nothing to make me feel that good unless it's been between my legs. So then here we go back in Nigeria, right? The African dude. Oh, well, who's the celly? Ogre. So here we go. We back in Nigeria. The African dude, the celly name is Ogre. Okay? Ogre said, let me tell you what the deal is. Okay? That dude, Baba, put some foul shiz on my boss. They used to be friends or they used to be partners. But what ended up happening was Baba, BC Powder Baba did some old foul shits. So don't worry, oh my boss got you, okay? He gonna do whatever he need to do to make sure that what you need to get done, get done. I said, ooh. Now, if you have not already done so, please like and share this video because it is so important to my success here on the YouTube. Now, remember this, the same people you meet on the way up will always be the same people you meet on the way down. Naysayers, my patron loves. Baby, have a good one. Peace.